I would like to discuss an example of when math and physics are used incorrectly. So let's go through this video, P equals and P dummy notes. So if you've been watching this channel for a minute, you realize that not only do I have drawing videos on here, but I have some math videos. And I have an entire playlist called P equals and P. And I'm not going to do a whole lot of explaining in this video because I think that playlist, once you watch it in its entirety, is pretty self-explanatory. Okay, okay, let's skip this part. Um... And literally, without delay, let's get into it. Just to not waste your time, right? And my proposition is that 1 divided by 27, this is the 3D rate of gravity. And a rate that is important with Yang Mills uh, symmetry. And this you can find in my other videos. And 1 fourth is the 2D rate. We're going to be working on these immediately. Um, Yang Mills symmetry deals with symmetries and breaks the symmetries, perturbation, all this type of stuff. Uh, in my theory, this is what relativity means. You can take different measurements and units of measurements and mix and match and get the same artifacts back. I mean, first of all, there's no such thing as the 2D rate of gravity. Gravity only applies to three-dimensional objects is what applies in the real world, but let's keep going. Where weight, you know, is a force with gravity in mind. And mass is... Okay, let's get... Remember, we're working with relative Earth's inner core. Let's use okay. the rate of gravity. Like, so... He's using this magical rate, 127, and <laughs> coupling it with the Earth's inner core to supposedly prove the rate of gravity and using 127 as that number. Just keep multiplying okay. one divided by 27 to this and see what we get back. So let's just watch this beautiful calculation, I guess. No, I'm not mistaken. This is 222. Um, we can four. skip ahead a little bit. Um, I'm not mistaken. Was it 8, 5, over Okay, two, so three. this is the result of him multiplying... 6,000 Kelvin as the Earth's inner core temperature. And he does this multiplication twice, okay. And like this is the um, <laughs> even crazier part, part too. Okay. Um, which is just a 8.2304 okay. core. I mean, okay, here we go. Now what we just did is basically this. We have Earth's core in here, and we have kind of a 3D wrap. And what do we know about Earth's core? I mean, what do we know about Earth's core? What do we know about Earth? We have the moon with it, right? Moon's gravity is 1.62. We just for a second squared. Now let's take the number that we received, and just like Einstein, just like a lot of the gravity exercise and all that, we're gonna take this and compare it with another mass, another gravity, which is the moons. And all we gotta do is add 1.62 meters per second squared. What do we get? I'm gonna write meters per second squared. I want you to be the judge. This is one of my first proofs on why, on how important one divided by 27 is. Please watch my other videos. I have a whole playlist, a whole P. The crazy thing is, let's say the moon is above you, right? It's going to be pulling you up relative to the earth which according to his theory would subtract from the earth's rate of gravity and obviously earth's gravity does not have to do with the temperature it has to do with the mass of the earth and this is just ludicrous there's no real proof to his calculation it's just a bunch of made up bullcrap and you know this is an example of when math and physics are used incorrectly or trying to spin some narrative to people who don't know better baby but this is really just a complete joke there's many other things completely wrong with this guy um maybe he has schizophrenia or something but um he seems kind of interested in math and physics but does not really know anything and is claiming a bunch of random stuff and argues with people in the comments. But the reason I'm making this video is because he kind of makes videos like mine, except he does not spit facts like I do. So I decided to debunk him in this video. And really, this is just complete clonery. He also tries to claim that the width of a hydrogen atom, something like 0.37 atometers across, is proof that 1 over 27 is the constant rate of gravity for whatever reason. This can easily be debunked since the metric system is arbitrary. If a meter was longer or shorter than what we currently define it to be, then the width of the hydrogen atom would be a different number. His theory implies temperature has the biggest impact on gravity, which is observably false. His theory also implies that we just so happen to find the magical length of a meter despite the fact that the meter was a totally arbitrary scale, which is made to be a convenient way to relate different units. His theory falls apart as soon as any other intelligent species tries to apply their equally valid mathematics, which is not the case with things like relativity or the Pythagorean theorem. But yeah, this is just one big clown channel that does not know anything about physics or mathematics and should not LARP as he does. Maybe he has schizophrenia and needs some help, but yeah, this channel really is not it. Um, I don't think anyone really takes him seriously, but... If you do, hopefully you find this video just to like debunk some of these things he's saying and 
Yeah, I mean, really, solving for quantum gravity, oh my god. What a joke, channel.